This tutorial is one of many instructional videos presented by the Olympus America Scientific Equipment Group Industrial Microscopes. This tutorial will provide you with detailed instructions on getting started with image acquisition on the Olympus Lex OLS 4000 3D laser measuring microscope. Before a sample can be loaded and examined, first we must ensure that the imaging mode has been selected as well as the 5x objective lens. We can now load a sample onto the stage. Press the button Move to Load Position in the Map Screen window. The objective lenses will automatically escape upward to avoid contact with the sample. Then the stage will move to the Load Position where a sample can be placed on the center. In the Map Screen window, press the button Move to Origin. Now the sample will be positioned underneath the microscope and centered underneath the objective lens. Move the course focus knob counterclockwise so that the sample is in focus. Then lock the course focus. As a safety precaution, it is always a good idea to set a software lower limit to ensure that the objective lens does not come in contact with the sample. A software lower limit can be set by clicking the Advanced Settings button then, then the Advanced Settings button below it. Under the Microscope menu, select Lower Limit. Press the Register button to define the current Z position as the lower limit. Ensure that the Imaging mode has been selected as well as the Laser Microscope interface. Let's activate the color camera by clicking on the color button. The halo around the Live tab indicates that we are now in live mode. Use the joystick to navigate about your sample in any direction. An autofocus can be ex executed by pressing down on the joystick. In addition to using the joystick, clicking on the arrow button will activate the stage navigation soft keys. Click on the top, bottom, left, right, or diagonal arrows to move the stage in that direction. Clicking on the arrow button again will toggle the, the distance traveled by the stage movement soft keys. Toggle between short, medium, long, or extra long distances. Clicking the arrow again will allow the operator to program a user-definable distance for the stage movement soft keys. By clicking on any feature in the image, the LEX will automatically drive that particular feature to the center. On the right side of the image window, you will notice three tabs. Click the Focus tab to access the focus controls. Clicking the up or down double arrow buttons will raise or lower the objective lens for course focusing while clicking on the up or down single arrow buttons will raise or lower the objective lens for fine focusing. Clicking the AF button will execute an autofocus while clicking the origin button will bring the microscope Z position to a user definable origin or zero position. The origin can be programmed by clicking on the button Advanced Settings, then selecting the second Advanced Settings button. From the Microscope menu, select Z Reference Position. Here, you can define the current Z position as a reference point by clicking on the Register button. Clicking on the Brightness tab will reveal the brightness settings. You can grab onto and move the Brightness slider to make gross adjustments to brightness. Clicking in the middle area will make 1% incremental or moderate adjustments, whereas clicking on the plus or minus buttons will make tenth of a percent or very fine adjustments. By clicking on the auto, auto button, the optimum exposure time is automatically determined and is continuously being updated. In certain applications, such as comparing images or creating panoramic images, it may be advantageous to maintain one consistent exposure time. Simply press the lock button to lock the current exposure time. 
In addition to controlling the focus and brightness by their respective toolbars, you can conveniently control focus and brightness by the mouse scroll wheel. Simply right click anywhere in the image window and you can assign fine focus, coarse focus, or brightness to the mouse scroll wheel. The most popular configuration is to control the brightness via the toolbar on the right while controlling the coarse or fine focus with the mouse wheel. By clicking on the laser button, the LEX will now toggle from color imaging mode to laser confocal mode. All of the focus and brightness controls are identical. However, please note that the auto button executes a one-time auto gain and does not update continuously. In addition, choosing dual screen mode will display a live image of both the color and laser confocal image simultaneously. Press the switch button to choose between which image is controlled by the brightness toolbar. The current objective lens is indicated by a halo. You can increase magnification by clicking on the desired objective lens. You will also notice that the working distance and numerical aperture specifications are displayed when you hover over a particular objective lens. In addition, you could zoom in up to eight times further with this slider. However, we highly recommend prioritizing the objective lens for additional magnification in order to obtain the best possible resolution. You will notice that the current system magnification is displayed on the bottom of the image window. System magnification is a function of the objective lens, zoom, and monitor magnification. When you increase magnification, you will notice the map screen dynamically adjust. The green square indicates your current position. You can move the green square to any desired area and the stage will automatically move to that position. The LEX offers a unique feature called Easy Zoom, which allows you to effortlessly zoom in on a particular feature where the optimum magnification and zoom are automatically determined. To access Easy Zoom, right click anywhere on the image and select the Easy Zoom menu. Resize and reposition the yellow rectangle around the feature of interest. You will notice how the magnification parameters are displayed in the preview. After you have resized and repositioned the yellow rectangle according to the feature of interest, press the OK button. The LEXT automatically zooms in accordingly. In this instructional video, we have covered part one of two on getting started with image acquisition with the Olympus LEXT OLS 4000 laser measuring microscope. We hope this video has been beneficial and we invite you to contact us directly with any questions whatsoever.